In this video, I'm going to show you how to safely wash your car at a self-serve car wash, the do's and don'ts so you can get great results. There are traditionally two ways to wash your car. The first method is to wash your car at home, and the second method is to visit an automatic car wash. The problem with automatic car washes is that they often use very harsh chemicals to clean your vehicle, and those chemicals can wreak havoc on your paintwork. For example, they can start stripping or weakening your paint protection like a wax, a sealant, or even a ceramic coating over multiple and repeated uses. Uh, and also, a lot of them, well, with those harsh chemicals, they can dull your finish or affect a few of the surfaces uh, or um, uh, parts on your vehicle. Also, some automatic car washes still use those nylon-type bristles or, or any mechanical agitation to do the wash, and that can induce some scratches and swirls into your paintwork, and we don't want that. So the best method is obviously to wash your car at home. However, not Everybody has the opportunity to wash their car at home. There are people living in cities or municipalities where they have laws or restrictions against water use or washing your car uh, at home. Uh, also, if you're in a uh, country or a city or a region of the world where you have freezing winters like we have in Montreal, Canada, uh, well, it's not possible to wash your car outside in those freezing conditions. And not everybody has a heated garage where they can wash their vehicle. So the other option, the third option, is to bring your vehicle at a self-serve car wash bay to do the job yourself, so a manual car wash. However, the trick here is to bring your own tools, products, and equipment. So we're going to show you exactly how we do that. And to do so, I've enlisted the help of a special guest, and she is Chelsea, a professional detailer uh, from the USA. And I really like what she does. She has a YouTube channel. I'll leave all her stuff linked in the description under the video. And uh, her mission was to show you guys basically how she would do uh, a professional level, but still DIY accessible car wash at a local self-serve car wash bay. Uh, you're going to see just how simple it is. I really like what she doing by the way for the detailing community we met uh, in 2023 in person at a creator summit and uh, we just hit it off she's a great person before that uh, for a few years we've been talking exchanging dms and emails and all that kind of stuff and if uh, you also have some pro tips uh, and tricks that you want to share for people uh, washing their cars in self-serve car wash bays drop them in the comment section under the video i remind you that all the tools equipment and product will also be linked in the description for you guys to check them out so all you have to do is sit back relax and enjoy the show so uh, chelsea why don't you take it away? Hey Pan, thanks for having me on your channel. For those of you that have never heard of me, my name is Chelsea and I own Attention to Details, which is a home-based detailing business here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I'm actually headed to the car wash right now. It's about 39 degrees outside. Uh, it's not necessarily the best day for washing a vehicle, but I have so much salt and dirt on my vehicle that it is just starting to get to the point where my my car looks awful. <laughs> it's probably the dirtiest it's ever been. I do have a ceramic coated vehicle, so that definitely helps with helping to keep the vehicle cleaner longer. And when I do wash it, it's gonna be a lot easier to clean it. But I oftentimes get asked by my viewers and by customers, how are they expected to wash their vehicle, especially in the wintertime when it's freezing cold outside uh, without having to go through the automatic car wash. A lot of times you'll hear on detailing channels that the automatic car wash is the number one way that vehicles get absolutely destroyed. While they do clean your car, the damage that they do from their high pH soaps or the brushes um, is gonna end up costing you hundreds if not thousands of dollars in repairs in the long run. And so I wanna share with you guys some practical and affordable ways to wash your vehicle even in the winter when it's freezing cold outside. Now, I have a two car garage that I can work out of. You can uh, do a rinseless wash in a garage, um, but even if you have a home, you can do a safe traditional car wash at your home, but what if you live in an apartment and you can't do a standard wash on your vehicle? Or what if your vehicle is too dirty that you don't feel comfortable doing a rinseless wash on it? Today, that's basically what we're going to do, but at the car wash. Before we head to the car wash, let me quickly explain to you some of the supplies that we're gonna take with us and why we are taking them. First up, we have an IK Foam Pro 12. We have one gallon of water with about three to four ounces of our soap in here. So that way we can do a foaming pre-soak of our vehicle before we even turn on any of the water. In our Foam Pro 12, we have Super Foam Soap from Koshemi. You can see this is a slightly higher pH soap. 
Now, most ceramic coatings can actually withstand chemicals up to around pH of 13. And when you dilute this chemical, it will actually lower it closer to around 10 and a half, 11. But if you're nervous about using a stronger soap on a coated vehicle, you can always use their active foam soap, which is a lower pH. So while it is a little bit stronger, it's not as strong, but this does a great job of giving you lubrication if you want to do a contact wash, but it will also help go after some of that traffic film, road salt, remove it from the vehicle. So that way, when we do our rinseless wash, it's going to be a lot safer. We've gotten a good bit of the grime off, ideally, with this soap. While our soap is working, we have a bucket with just plain old warm tap water in here. We've got various tire and wheel brushes and shine supply wise guy. This is at a one to one dilution ratio. We're going to use this to clean our tires and wheels as well as our rubber mats. Uh, so that way we can let our soap work while we get our tires and wheels dialed in. Then we'll come in, use the high pressure water, rinse everything off pull into a parking space, and then we will do our rinseless wash. For that, we're using my favorite DIY detail, the rinseless wash. We have this mixed up already in a bucket, 256 to one with some warm water. We have the rinseless wash sponge, as well as a grit guard, and we also have some of our rinseless wash in a spray bottle. So that way, if there's a little bit more dirt on the vehicle than I would prefer, we can have some extra lubrication with our rinseless wash, spray the panel down, then safely come in, do our rinseless wash. Once we are done doing our rinseless wash, we'll come in with our ceramic gloss. We'll spray this minimally, use a drying towel. This gives us extra lubrication as we dry off the panel. Also helps replenish the protection on our vehicle should it have gotten weakened from that road film or road salts being on the vehicle for too long. If we have time, we'll also quickly do some interior work with some of my favorite products. We also have some lined gloves so that way my hands can stay nice and safe and dry while I am doing all of this. And then when we are done, we'll put our favorite dressing car pro pearl at a one to one dilution ratio on our tires from head to toe. Ideally, hopefully everything will be clean and hopefully it will not take much time for us to be able to do it. But here's the products that we're going to take with us. Let's go ahead, get them in the car and get headed to the car wash. So we are headed to the Aqua Premier Car Wash in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. You can see they have two self-serve car wash bays, as well as a quote-unquote soft touch and touchless automatic car wash. Normally on a busy day, there's five to six cars deep at this place. Now, as a professional detailer, it is my job to educate my customers on the importance of avoiding the automatic car wash, the, the dangers that can occur if they frequently use it, and how to properly maintain their vehicle with safer alternatives. And so today I'm going to demonstrate for you guys one such alternative for those of you that maybe you live in an apartment complex that you can't wash your vehicle at home, or maybe you don't own a garage to be able to comfortably do a rinseless wash. What options do you have other than the automatic car wash? So we're here today. I brought some supplies with me. We're going to demonstrate for you guys how to safely wash your vehicle without using the brushes, without using their high pH soaps and still get a clean car afterwards and maybe even save you a few dollars because let's face it, the automatic car wash, they're expensive. So we're going to go ahead, pull into the bay and get set up. So we're going to try to make this quick, but I want to show you guys the before condition of the vehicle. We have filthy tires and wheels. I actually haven't cleaned them in weeks and it is just crusty with brake dust and dirt. We have a ceramic coating on our vehicle and even though we do have protection, we still have quite a bit of road salt residue and traffic film on the vehicle that if we were to let this stay on there, that eventually it could weaken the ceramic coating and it's gonna prevent it from performing properly. So we really need to try to remove all of this grime as safely as possible. You can see the back end of this vehicle here where previous vehicles have been washed, there is just so much filth that if you were to think about all of this dirt on a vehicle that were to go through the automatic car wash, this dirt would then be on the brushes, which would then potentially be abraded all over your vehicle. There's no way that they can remove all of the dirt off of those brushes from one vehicle to the next. And you have no idea what was on the vehicle in front of you. It could have been a rock salt truck for all you know. And all of that is just then being brushed all over your paint. So ideally you want to try to avoid anything with a brush to not take all of this dirt and just scratch and abrade it into the finish. So at my car wash, we have a couple of different options for us to choose from. And oftentimes, a lot of these options are wasteful. 
Uh, if you were to do bug off or tires, wheels, um, wax, spot free wrench dryer, a lot of these are unnecessary if you have protection on your vehicle. For today, we're actually going to only use soap and rinse. And we're only going to use that after we let our soap soak, uh, clean our tires and wheels a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and get set up. You can see it's $3 to start, so hopefully that's all we're going to need to wash our car. I know over here at the Automatic Car Wash, it's about $7 to start going up to $13. So let's see if we can get our vehicle cleaner for less. So first things first, we're going to make sure our hands stay warm and dry during this process. We've got comfortable gear on, waterproof shoes. Uh, I'm going to stay comfortable even though it's like 38 degrees outside. We're going to go ahead and clean our mats while we're here, get all the salt and yuckiness off of them. There we go. So first we're going to go ahead, spray our tires and wheels down with our Wise Guy. Wise Guy is one of my favorite tire and wheel combination cleaners. Diluted at a one-to-one -one ratio, you can see it has really nice clinging capabilities but it does a fantastic job of removing browning off of your tires. And if you have kind of rubber all-weather mats, it's also a fantastic all-weather or rubber mat cleaner as well. If you're nervous about cleaning tires and wheels before you do any sort of high pressure rinse, you can wait to wash your tires and wheels. I'm just choosing to do them before we rinse the vehicle just to try to save some money because that way I don't have to initiate the water and then kind of let it run after the fact. But while our tire and wheel cleaner is soaking, we're going to foam the entire vehicle down thoroughly with our super foam soap. The IK Foam Pro 12 is definitely going to make the job a lot easier, but for those that maybe you're trying to watch your budget, they do have smaller options as well, but you're gonna spend a little bit more time pumping it up and maybe not have as much fill capabilities. For our tires and wheels, we have that bucket of warm water along with our tire and wheel brushes. So that way we can kind of rinse off our brushes from one tire and wheel to the next. That way we don't have as much dirt on our brushes uh, but you can see we have a ton of cleaning capabilities and lubrication with the combination of the Wise Guy and the Super Foam Soap. But again, for those of you that might be nervous about scratching tires and wheels, uh, you can rinse before you come in and do this step. I honestly, I'm not overthinking it. This is a 10 year old car. In this moment, I'm just looking for quick and effective. We're going to start off on soap. I had scrubbed our mats off camera with our tire brush and our wise guy. So now we're just going to do a quick rinse, let them air dry, and then come in and use the soap from the coin operated car wash. Now, when I say soap, I use that term very loosely. I don't believe that the soap that they use here is the same that they are using in the automatic non-touch and soft touch car wash base. You could see there's barely any white foamy residue coming out from the water. I feel like I had way more soap just from the soap that I had sprayed on versus whatever soap they had coming out here. So I wouldn't necessarily rely on the soap uh, from the self-wash touch base, but um, you can try it out if you want. I just know that the one here, I was not impressed with the cleaning power from this quote unquote soap. But what I was impressed with was how well our Koshemi Super Foam Soap did at removing all of the road film, salt, and just grime that had been stuck to my vehicle for weeks on end. When you're using the pressure washer, pay special attention to emblems, tight seals, etc. So that way you can blast all of the dirt that might be caked out. Now we just have to do a very quick rinse of our vehicle. We've gotten the majority off during our soap rinse step, uh, but now we're just removing any sort of chemical residue. So that way we have no potential staining on our paint. This is the only part of my vehicle that doesn't have a ceramic coating on it. We just have Griot's 3-in-1 ceramic wax. And even that has been able to hold up to the environment that we've been in the last couple of weeks. But the rest of our panels, after doing just a foaming pre-soak and a rinse, you can see we have nice hydrophobics restored. Uh, that did a great job of removing the film. We're done. Let's see, total charge is press stop. 452. 
So we did our own foaming pre-soak using this super foam and that was a hundred times more effective than the soap that they had coming through their automated system. That was just really weak and diluted. You could tell it wouldn't have done much to remove the traffic film and, and the dirt that was on the car. Uh, but we were able to use our own soap, let it sit, cleaned our tires and wheels. They turned out fantastic. Uh, then using their soap and the high pressure water, we're able to remove, I would say 90 to 95% of the dirt that is on this vehicle. And now I feel a lot more comfortable doing a rinseless wash. Now for some, this might be sufficient. You might think, oh, I'm good, I'm just gonna drive home. And, and you technically can, but I wanna dial it in a little further. I wanna get rid of any water spots and the rest of that film, because if that film sits on there for too long, it can weaken your protection. So we're gonna remove the traffic film and we're also gonna replenish our protection with our drying aid. So we're gonna go ahead, pull over into a parking space so that way someone else can have the space and finish up the vehicle. Just kidding, I'm not gonna leave you here. Someone might steal you. I actually found this to be somewhat comical. The person in the bay beside me was doing a traditional car wash with a bucket, soap, and mitt. I was really impressed actually with how well of a job he was doing and turns out he was my UPS driver. He actually follows me on YouTube and saw me and said, did your hose freeze? And I said, no, I'm just doing a video for Pan. So while my neighbor is actually washing his vehicle in the car wash bay using a bucket and a mitt, we're gonna go ahead and do a rinseless wash in the parking space. I've had like four people ask me if I work here. I think it's really super ironic. We've got our mitt already soaking in our solution, our drying aid, and our ceramic gloss. Now I could just dry the vehicle with my towel, and you can, but if there is a light layer of dirt left behind, you might end up scratching it. Because we got a majority of the dirt off with our pre-soak and our rinse, I don't need to pre-spray with a rinseless wash, plus we already still have a wet panel. So we're just gonna come in. I don't have a coating on my hood or on this front section because my husband was in an accident and this is new and I haven't been able to coat it. But we're just gonna Quick do a rinseless wash. I'm actually really surprised, pleasantly surprised, how well the super foam soap did. Getting all that heavy dirt off. You can see we, we barely have anything on our mitt. Let's face it, no one really wants to spend an hour at the car wash. You wanna be fast and get on with your day. So you can just quick do half the vehicle like this. You don't wanna do this in direct sunlight on a hot day. You don't wanna let the rinse the solution dry on there. But once you're done, I'm just gonna take minimal sprays. And now we can safely dry this paint. I normally do only one or two sprays per panel. That way you don't have any sort of streaking and make sure you are using a quality drying towel. The number one way that scratches are induced to a vehicle other than the automatic car wash is through your wash media and your drying media. So make sure you invest in quality towels. Put it on our glass. Give us some hydrophobics for when we dry. But just like that, this entire side of our vehicle We've dialed in the paint. We've gotten rid of all that film safely. We've replenished our protection and that took us a total of two, three minutes. So you can see it doesn't take much. We took maybe five, 10 minutes in the car wash bay. We'll take maybe another five, 10 minutes out here just to dial it in, especially on those cold days where you don't wanna have to battle the cold. You can get done, get back in your warm car very quickly. Some of you might be thinking, yeah, thanks, but no thanks. I'm just going to stay warm in my car and go through the non-touch automatic car wash. And you can, but again, you run the risk of drying out your paint from their soaps. Plus, the protection that they apply is nowhere near as durable as what we're putting on our paint. 
Plus, let's face it, sometimes you're sitting in line at the car wash for 10 to 20 minutes just to leave with your car kind of clean. Whereas here in about 20 minutes time, we've been able to have a vehicle that looks like it was freshly detailed and we did it for under $10. And let's not forget to put the cherry on top, which is our tire dressing. This is a water-based tire dressing that will dry to the touch and keep your tires looking great for weeks. You can see we barely have any dirt left in our rinseless wash solution. And we were able to safely wash our vehicle, even at the automatic car wash. Everything came up beautiful. If we were to go through the non-touch, yes, it is safer, but we would still have a film left behind. And we've been able to remove that heavy buildup of dirt without using their really strong soaps or brushes, and then be able to just very quickly dial in our paint, also put down protection simultaneously. And we are all done with washing our car. Hopefully you enjoyed this video where we demonstrated for you guys that there are safe alternatives to washing your vehicle, even if you're at the automatic car wash. You don't have to rely upon the brushes and the high pH soaps that they use, but you can still safely wash your vehicle, even if you don't have the option of doing it at home or in a garage. So hopefully this video can help some of you guys out. Thank you so much, Pan, for having me. Hopefully you guys will follow us over on Attention to Details with Chelsea. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram as well. But if you guys have any questions about this video, I'm gonna be chiming in in the comment section down below. And I'm sure Pan's gonna have a lot of insight for you guys as well as he always does. But thank you guys for watching and hopefully we'll find you over at our channel and we'll see you in the next detail.